Alright, welcome back everybody. This is going to be a bonus episode tonight. I wasn't planning on doing a third one, but I kind of want to now. Okay. It's almost my bedtime. It's like 11 o'clock. Almost 11 o'clock, but that's okay. Done. Let's go talk to, uh, Lithius. I have defended the hand of the Seldarine at all costs, and will continue to do so. Cursed with unlife, my duty remains clear. I shall stand guard against those who would defile what remains of the Seldarine's hand. Then you have no quarrel with us. Our intentions are not to cause more damage to the hand. I will be the judge of that. Speak your intentions clearly. Evil plagues this land. We seek the aid of Laurel to help us find the source. Perhaps you're not the miscreants I had thought you were. If what you say is true, it is my duty to aid you if it'll further the ways of the Seldarine. I am Lethius and Aurel, blade singer of the Seldarine. Lethius, you speak of your duty to the hand. I'd like to know what you mean. Some say blade singers are the elite of elven warriors, trained from an early age in the ways of weapons, magic, and diplomacy. Blade singers carry out the elven way in words and actions. When life prospered in the Seldarine's hand, it was my duty to defend the cause of the Seldarine. When the time of our darkest hour approached, I swore to protect Laurel and the hand until I had no more blood to be spilt. To do any less would disgrace my kind. For many days I fought alongside my brothers and sisters. Score after score of orcs and goblins fell as my blades sang through the air. Although I saw nothing but the color of my enemy's blood, we were losing ground. When we realized the, of the, hand was or the fall of the hand was inevitable, we were forced to take desperate action. Sahanan Tower was our most prized tower. Inside were the chambers where we crafted our finest weapons and artifacts. We could not let our magics fall into the hands of the Horde, or the surrounding lands would suffer for centuries after the hand fell. A desperate plan was created that would ensure this would never happen. All the artifacts within Sah Sahanin Tower were set to release their magic so the tower would destroy itself. Before these energies were released, however, we planned to lead as many orcs and goblins as we could into the Sahanin. The plan required one who was willing to lead the orcs and goblins into the tower, one who would know the sacrifice had to be made, one willing to die. I decided that it would be me. I would make the sacrifice. My duty was clear. When the time came, the horde pursued me as I climbed to the top. As my enemies stormed the room at the pinnacle of the tower, I fought with blade and faith for the last time. With the wall at my back and the room filled with orcs and goblins, I heard the first explosions from the base of the tower and smiled. I died, and I knew that I had died, but I awoke. That was when I saw myself not as an elven blade singer, but as a twisted undead monster. Something brought my body back into this form, but had left my mind intact. So here I am, standing before what was known as Hanan Tower. A monster, perhaps, but one thing still remains the same. My duty to myself, and the hand of the Seldarine. Lithius, I'd like to hear what you know about how to find Laryl. Unfortunately, I have not seen Laryl in some time. I know that during the fall of the hand, he and his wizards locked themselves atop Libelus Tower. They sought a way to save our people through magic, but from looking around, something must have gone terribly wrong. Seek a way into Libelus's tower, Libelus Tower, and you will find an answer there. Many thanks, Lithius. I shall return. Lithius, whatever your name is. Some silly. Ready. Done. Seldarine. Hello? Hey, Lehland is here. Hi, Lehland. Greetings, uh, welcome, welcome. Don't be taken aback by all the wonderful items I have for sale. Come, my name is Lehland, and I am the proprietor of this establishment. Let me take a look at your shop. Why not? What do you got? Ooh, fancy stuff. Well, not really. I might have lied. Fancy arrows. Can you identify things? I would like that cloak identified. It is a hide in the shadows cloak. That's exactly what I thought it was. Do I have any other magical items that require attention? Yes, I do. Let's take a look at those as well. But in the meantime, this cloak can go straight to our rogue. There we go. Her hide and shadows must be pretty good by now. Hundred and twenty-three. Not bad. Here, got it. All right. Can you identify that, 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 and that? Thank you. Okay, so we have. Let's take a quick look. Sort of. We already knew what that was. Um, we have Misery's Herald, which is potential to panic and can strike creatures that require cold iron to hit. Does a fair amount of damage, and it's a flail slash morning star. There's the serrated bone blade, which is a two-handed sword. It's actually a really nice sword, but we have no one that uses two-handed weapons, so that is what it is. 
This is the gesture's bag of holding. We can shake it once per day and a random object will appear in our inventory or the ground of its fall. Well, if you insist. Yes. Oops, wrong. I hit the potion. I don't know what that was. No big deal. What did we get? Looks like we got a sky drop gem. Excellent. Orders. Um, can we rest here? I don't understand. Why do you tend to shop in this destroyed fortress? The severed hand was destroyed hundreds of years ago. Have you been sipping too much elven wine? Sah! The severed hand? What in Corellan's name is that? Sah! Is that what you southerners call the hand of the Seldarine? Destroyed? Sah! I do not mean to be insulting, but if you look outside my store, you'll see many elves alive and well going about their daily business. Uh, I'll go see what they're doing myself. Goodbye, delusional elf. Let's go take a look further around. Quick save, of course. Bunch of shadowed elves. I think we're allowed to loot stuff. Without any trouble. There's an elf named Talanus here, or Telanus. Talk to me here, elf. Named Elf. Adventurers! Ha! <laughs> Never thought any one of the living would have made it to these parts of the hand ever again. Nevertheless, let me present myself to you. The name's Talanus. Talanus Songbender. Singer extraordinaire, master of the eight-string mandolin, lover of beautiful women, teller of grand tales, and best of all, minstrel to the hand. A singer, huh? I'll be the judge of that. Sing me a song, minstrel. Let me entertain you with a song, and perhaps this will answer some of your questions. Would you care for an old tale about Laryl? Perhaps a sad tale about the union we had with our dwarven neighbors. Let's go with the Laryl one. My tale of Laryl it is... Oh, my throat hurt. One sec. An annoying cough. Alright, in the time of growth, did the elves deem so, that a haven in the north be made. They searched for one, strong of mind, strong of will, to bear this burdensome burdensome task. Though the wizards were many, and diligence all had, one of the wisdom they found, Laryl shined above all. Ride did he, across, lands fro across frozen lands, ascending the peaks in the spine of the world. Beasts he did battle, and darkest of hordes, forthright in his quest, Laurel conquered all. Winters came, winters went, through the darkest cold night. The one pushed through, in midst of this tundra, a place he did find, home for the elves. Laryl did crown. Tell me the other one. Ah, uh, the tale of the elves and the dwarves. Tis a sad one. In time of strife against the Dark Horde, a friend we found in the one short and stout. United as one, our forces did fight, in battle we charged and drove the Dark back. We danced and we drank, with victory in hand, an old, old enemy vanquished, a new ally behind. Agreement both made to craft items of light, weapons of might, artifacts of power. For years upon years our bond remained strong, in times of prosperity, even in adversity. When the darkness returned, its form we were blind. The dwarves had betrayed us, weapons given to orc kind. Knife in back, deception instead of friendship. This is what dwarf gives to those of elven kind. Thanks, Talanis. I'm listening. Ready. One more I'll quick question. It. Uh, can we... Never mind. Oh, wait, hang on. Talanis, we found this ballad, or ballad. Can you play it for us? How could I refuse such a request? Let me see it. With the song in the air, a ghostly figure appears before you, shimmering and transparent. Blade, my old blade, where's my blade? A fellow spirit like many of my brethren. He seems to be out of sorts. What is it, friend? What can we do for you? My blade, my blade! What about it? We wish to help you. It takes one last sad look at the party before fading away. Hmm. Another poor trapped spirit, however, it does seem like unlike the cursed elves here, we may be able to help him. Should you find his sword, return it, and we can try summoning him once more. We gotta find his sword, though. Could be hard to do. I don't actually remember where it is. We'll take a look around. Maybe it's on this level somewhere. Let's take a look at this. This floor is pretty safe so far, which is kind of nice. That leads down to one of the other towers, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
So we'll take a look at some of the other rooms first. Shadowed elves. Anyone of named variety? Shadowed elves. Whoops. That was silly. Anyone named? No one has a name? It's sad they came to this bar, but nobody knows their name. <laughs> that show is actually very depressing. Just objectively quite a very depressing show. Alright! Hello little elven child. What's up? Hi, have you come to play with me? I haven't had anyone to play with for so long. My name is Sahria. It's nice to meet you. Have you seen my mother? I'm afraid not, little one. Who's your mother? My mother is my mother. She owns this place. When strangers come to the hand, mother lets them rest here. Do you want to play now? Not right now, Sahria. I'm too tired to play. Dot dot dot. Stop kidding around. Hee <laughs> hee. Mother said the strangers always joked around. I'm going to go play now. Goodbye. Yay, have you come up to play? Mother should be back soon. I came to visit. What are you doing? Playing. Mother said to wait here until she comes back. Who is your mother? She owns the place. Where did she go? She said there was a lot of fighting downstairs and that we should stay here. There was so much noise. When the noise got really loud, Mother began to cry. She told me to hide under the bed and not let anyone in. Mother said she was going to help and that she'd be back to play with me soon. She locked the door. I haven't seen her since. That's okay. Mother's probably busy helping. She'll come back soon. Little one, do you think your mother will mind if we rest here for a while? Nope, after you rest, then we can play. Thank you. All I wanted to do was have a quick rest. Also, the mother's probably dead. Guaranteed to be dead. It's just the way it is. You can tell because of the way it is. Mostly because there's just dead people everywhere. Oh, we're out of room. We need the bag of holding. Alright. We're looting with the wrong people. Nope. Yes. There we go. Uh, no. You can have it back. Where'd it go? Uh, also, the charges for these cards are right there. I, mean, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but... We have 13 charges of Holy Chaos, and 11 charges of Blur. Here. All right. All right, I guess we're going to go to one of the towers, so we have access to all of them. There should be four. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, one, two, three, something like that. I guess we should just go to one. I don't remember what order we're supposed to do them in. I don't think there's a particular order that makes any sort of difference. We're going to the La no we hang on. Labella should be the last one we go to, I think. Let's continue inwards. This is the one I think I wanted to do first. I will not permit you to desecrate this tower. Stay away. I, do, I don't want to fight you. Just leave. Calm down. We have no intention of desecrating this tower. Tell me, who are you? My name is Denai Nai. I'm a priestess of the Hand, or what used to be the Hand. As you can see, there isn't much of it left, and what remains is a horrid travesty of what we once held sacred. What happened to the Hand? The Hand of the Seldarine was once a proud achievement of the Artel Quasir. Out of the raw harshness of the cold, we carved a beautiful elven citadel where we prospered for many centuries. During that time, we were in constant war with the Dark Horde that plagued the area. In the end, the Dark Horde began to overwhelm us, and in a desperate plan to save what was left, Laryl cast the Mythal that cursed us all. What can you tell me about Laryl and the Mythal? Laryl was our leader, one of the most respected wizards of the Hand. He was the one responsible for building the Hand of the Seldarine centuries ago. After its creation, the Artel Quasir lived in a state of growth and prosperity, turning the surrounding area into fertile lands and crafting magical items of exceptional power. We made a proud monument to the elven way of life. What happened? Soon after, we found ourselves in a war with the Dark Horde, vicious orcs and goblins, who wanted nothing more than to destroy everything we held dear. The war with them raged for many decades. Towards the end, the Dark Horde was beginning to overrun us. Desperate, Laryl cast the mythal in hopes of bringing us salvation. 
Instead, he brought annihilation. Mythal. Is that some sort of enchantment? The Mythal is a powerful spell from ancient and almost forgotten elven lore. It creates a living force that embodies the area it is cast on. Sustaining itself on the natural processes of the environment, it can be bestowed with powers to enhance its protective nature. And the Mythal was intended to protect the Hand from the Horde? Yes. When we faced the grim reality that we were losing, we had to buy time to receive reinforcements from our brothers and sisters in the south. Laryl devised a desperate plan to save us. He intended to lay a mythal down on the hand that would prevent any of the Dark Horde from entering. What happened? Even with our swords striking swift and our arrows true, our defenses were being breached. We held up for a week before the last line of defense was broken. As the Dark Horde began ascending our towers and cutting down the last of the elven defenders, a shroud of light engulfed the hand. We had succeeded in buying Laurel time with our lives, the mythal had been cast. What went wrong? At the time, we thought Laurel had released our salvation, instead he damned us all. Something went terribly wrong with the spell. Every living thing in the surrounding land and inside the hand itself was drained of its life essence almost at the point of death. Our people and our attackers became as shades, driven mad by the life that was taken from them. Even worse, the energies of the mythal took those who had died and brought them back as undead. You say all living things were driven mad when they became shades. You can still speak to me. Why? A few of us maintained our sanity and some semblance of who we were, cursed as cursed as we were, or cursed as we are, powerless to do anything to change it, or to put any of our brothers and sisters to proper rest. A sad tale, the Niney. Could you speak of your time here as a priestess? I was one of the younger acolytes of the Hand. During the days when the Hand was still in its glory, I spent most of my time here. As you can see, this level of Solanar Tower was our shrine to our gods. Here is where the elves of the Hand spent some time, some, some of their free time worshipping. Tell me more about this elven shrine. In its former glory, this shrine was a monument to our elven gods. The statues and adornment pools were built by our most talented artisans. Flowers blossomed year-round in the small garden. We had a simple ritual where we would take a flower from the garden and place it in one of the adornment pools as an offering for our prayer. As you can see, these same pools are not even fit to look at anymore. Until I can find some holy water to purify the pools, they will remain that way. I'll see what I can do, Denaini. Take care. Orders? I'll handle it. So we have some insane priests to kill, really, is what we're going to be doing. When we go upstairs. I'm not even kidding. See? May I help? I do remember this tower. Hi everybody. I'm listening. Understood. Manus, Alright, let's get our people in there. Yeah, it will be done. Uh, this is my turn. Oh, better go. Okay, you, you, you. Shoot that cleric. Only one cleric left alive. Got it. I'm listening. I'll get right. All right. Any traps? Oh, you're alive. There we go. What's up? Sure. Warhammer and some junk. Ready. Yes. I think we should probably be able to do this tower before the end of our video. It's a pretty small tower. We'll at least get some of this quest done. Here. Orders? All right. And quick save, and we're heading back up. Next floor. Yet another floor full of enemies. I'm listening. Done. Light, light. Alright, start shooting. Oh. He got dire charmed as the spell was about to go off. Are these guys technically undead? I don't think so. I don't think we can actually just uh, undead send them away, unfortunately. So it looks like we're doing this the old fashioned way. We're going to practice our stabbing. 
you were gonna shoot that cleric. And you're gonna shoot that one. I await your instructions. Are you held? He's unable to move for some reason. I'm here. Here. Understood. Here I come. And the hells come with me. I am ready. Bacho. Bacho. Ready. Go kill that guy. No more spells. Ready. Alright. I'm on it. An amulet. Slash necklace. Oh, hello. I'm listening. That spell will never see the light of day. Are you still dire charmed? God. What's up? Sure. I hope you know you could have made that fight a lot easier by not being dire charmed. That second fireball had gone off, it would have been pretty good. Um, we don't have a yes, dispel I'll magic right because on. he's our dispeller. So, ready, of course. A piece of broken machinery. We do need that. All of this goes in there. It's not like our wizard can hit anything, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference that he's shooting at our yes. fighter. But we do have to wait until the dire charm wears off. I don't think we have a dispel. No, we don't. Indeed. What is your will? Here. I'm here. <sighs> oh, it's domination. You, you know what? We've a raised dead. You're not an elf, are you? Human? Orders, I'm Good. on it. I don't know how much you can avenge me. Oh, bloody hell, I hit him too hard. Ready, done. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> I evaporated him instead of just killing him. That was May stupid. I help? <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny, I have to admit. <laughs> Oh, that was a little bit too close. Here. No, he did it again. Dominated. We'll use somebody that does less damage to take him out this time. I'm listening. I'll handle it. Okay. Everyone backs up. I'm listening. You're pretty low damage, so you can shoot him to death. Yes. Oh, for the love of god, I don't have eight oh, years to do this. I don't know Certainly. how much more I can last. There we go. Alright. Back to your feet. Stupid domination. Welcome back. Don't shoot your micro members anymore. I'll put you back in the ground. Almost fully upgrade or re equip. We'll rest really quickly here too. Agreed. We now know this. Oh, go away. Okay, we know there's no traps. We have a quick save at this point. Right, she's full up.
And we have one more level to go up as well. Oh, we got something different this time. We got some chain armor. Is it fancy? It's unknown, so it could be fancy. Here. Oh. What is it? All that can happen is our... Oh wait, we're healed up. Never mind. Doesn't matter now. I'm listening. Got it. Okay. Let's move closer to the stairs and then we'll try another rest. Oh, go away. We've already killed more ghosts than there are elves in the world. That's not true. It's close to true though. Thank you. Go, we should quick save because we actually managed to do a rest. And let's go to the last level. Agreed. Yes. Right up. What's up here? Let's find out. More elves. Ready. Here. I'm here. All right. Really, I only need these two people to go take care of this. Really, I only need him to take care of this. Unless he gets dominated, that could be bad. Let's go make sure we, that doesn't happen. Any traps? Doesn't seem like it. A ring! Which is a ring of unidentified, so we'll get that identified before putting it on, because there are cursed items in this game. And I know there's one in this tower somewhere, and I can't remember where. Orders understood. I'm listening as you wish. Yes, I will take those things, thank you. Keep the broken machine pieces. We'll get this all identified when we go back downstairs. Except for all that. Oops. Didn't mean to put arrows in there, but eh, good enough. Nothing in here. Or nobody in there, I should say. You know what? Let's just start barging into rooms. Any more enemies to kill? Yes, good. That's bad news. May I help? I don't mind. To the butcher's work then. There we go. That's better. We're good again. That domination, though, that could have been very bad. All right. Now we should have leading to do. I'll take care of it. Quick save. Next one. We're gonna play the quick way of locating traps. If it blows up, we'll disarm the trap. If it doesn't, nothing to worry about. It will be done. Yep, right up. Oh, I'll get some holy water. We were looking for some of that. For the other part of this quest. Oh. Go away. And we're almost done for the night. It's almost bedtime. Get to bed at a reasonable hour, not the midnight 30 I've been doing. Which is really hard when you wake up at 6.30. Ready. I'm on it. Well, I'm supposed to get up at 5.30, but recently I've just been barely getting up at 6.30. Quick shower, race out right. of the room. So I'm going to try and get a decent night's sleep. 11 to 5 is a good solid 6 hours, which is what I usually get. I think I'd be okay. Let's go turn in these quests. I'm on it. And then we'll call it a, vi a done video. I'll upload this one. Yay, bonus video for the day. Which is good for you guys. Understood. Let's go talk to Denaini. Denaini? Whatever her name is. I have brought you some holy water to purify the pools. You brought holy water? With this, I can purify the pools and restore some glory to this place of beauty. I know it's not much, but please take this as thanks. So pretty. Seven hand. Worry about yourself. Oh, this is the other part. Uh, so we have to ask her about the other priest in the tower. 
As with everyone in the hand, when Laurel cast the mist mythal, we are drained of our life essence and transformed into this blasphemous state of existence. Blech. Except for myself, the priests now haunt the upper levels of Solinar Tower, completely void of soul and consciousness. They are condemned to live this way unless someone can put them to rest. I have already done what you ask. The priests have been laid to rest. Hooray! I think we got some experience for that, right? I guess so. Alright, so who leveled up? And then what's bedtime? Our dragon disciple leveled up. So we get a new level 4 and 5 spell per day. Or just spells, whatever. And then hit points. Some saving throws. Level 2 spell. What do we want? Stinking Cloud's pretty good. Mirror image might be worthwhile. Invisibility, actually. I know it's not a great invisibility. It's not, like, awesome invisibility, but it could help. And... Remove magic isn't bad. Let's go with flame error. Oh, uh, no. We're gonna go with hold person. And level 4, we'll go stone skin. Keep him alive a little longer. And level 5. Um, probably an elemental, I would think. Unless we get something like sunfire. Sunfire is pretty fun. Phantom Blade is really fun. If you play a melee sorcerer, hold monster, nah. Enemy dead. Let's go with Sunfire, I think. Why not? Alright. I don't know why I didn't get experience. Hang on. Tell me about yourself. That's it. Okay. Orders, I it. guess we got everything we were supposed to get. And that's going to be the end of our video. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.